What does this vintage looking decoupage paper with lemons and this old outdated bread box have to do with this video? Stick around and I'll show you. Welcome to Repurpose My Way, I'm Shelly. I recently had a family member give me this to redo for them and I fixed the bottom of it. It was missing a chunk of wood and it actually hindered the box from opening and closing properly. So I added a wire inside and some plaster to seal it up and it seemed to work pretty well. I'm going to be putting this decoupage paper on it so it's going to cover up all that extra uh, yuckiness that you see at the bottom but I want to mix up some paint. I don't have one large amount of any color that I want to use on this box so I'm going to try and make up my own. So I'm starting with the base of just a creamy color and then this is a white color from I don't know it's a oops paint an exterior interior paint and I'm just mixing those two together now I'm taking some folk art yellow I uh, can't remember if this is sunflower maybe and then just some light yellow paint from Walmart the apple barrel I think and I'm just going to use a little bit of that that's pretty bright I don't want this to be very bright, but I do want it to, to make sure I have enough color so that I can do a few coats on this bread box. I know it's probably going to need it. So I took it outside and I, instead of sanding it down, I spray painted it all black on the outside. I actually have come down with uh, a sickness and I did not want to sand in case uh, you know, any of those particles, even wearing a mask, would just choke me up. So I decided I would spray it all black and then give this a good paint job of the yellow and see where we're at. So it actually took three coats of that buttery yellow to cover up this uh, bread box. So now I'm going to affix my decoupage paper on the front using some Mod Podge. Somehow my phone has sh had shut off uh, as I was doing this and I didn't even notice it. Uh, I thought I had uh, done it on my own, but both of my hands are right out front when that shuts off. So I know it was not me, so something happened there. But anyway, uh, Mod Podge, just sections at a time. And then once I had it all down, I took my roller and a baggie over the top and just rolled it down and tried to get some of the bubbles and wrinkles out of it. It's okay if there are a few wrinkles. I'm all right with that. As the Mod Podge dries, it tends to suck a lot of that down in anyways. So what I don't get, it usually takes care of most of it. And then I'll probably sand it later on and that'll help knock off some of those ridges from the wrinkles. So now I'm just gonna sand down. I'm gonna, I rolled the paper over the top edge and I'm just gonna sand off the extra that I have on there and then make sure it's all down nice and uh, flat. And then I'm going to seal in the decoupage paper with some more Mod Podge. Just do a good seal all over the top so it doesn't roll up or anything like that. And then I'll go ahead and let it dry. I don't think I mentioned, but I did get this from this decoupage paper from Zazzle. I'll put a link down in the description if it's something you're interested in. So I'm just gonna do a light sand over the paper and just get some of the ridges from the wrinkles out and just make it look I don't know a little bit more aged even though it already is pretty vintage aged looking uh, and just just kind of go over it then once I'm done with that I'm going to go lightly over the edges this person that I'm doing this for isn't a heavy distressed uh, per you know she doesn't like the heavy distressed look uh, but I think a little bit would look really good on this box with the dark coming through. 
especially the black spray paint. So just a light distress to uh, accentuate the edges and make it look a little bit more distressed and not just a big yellow box. So then once I go all over the box with that, I decided I had enough paint to do the inside. I wasn't going to, I was just gonna oil it up and leave it because I wasn't sure I'd have enough paint, but pretty sure I have enough for two or three coats. So I'm gonna go ahead and to cover that. And it did take probably two and a half coats to get this covered. So it's two full coats and then the half coat is just to touch up here and there, maybe the bottom had needed a little bit extra or something like that, or the door, but uh, pretty much covered that really nicely and I think it came out awesome. So to finish up with this piece and before I put the little knob on, I'm gonna go ahead and take my white wax and white wax the front first and see how that comes out. I want to dull down some of that darkness on the front and I think that worked pretty well. I think it shows here pretty good how, how well it did to brighten that up a little bit. It just kind of drew back some of that dark that was uh, in the paper. And then I went ahead and did the rest of the box. So I painted on the white wax and then I wiped it back with a dry cloth. I had painted the knob the cute yellow color and then added it to the front of my box. And now I'm just taking some white wax and going on there and then I'm gonna wipe that back as well. So after this brief uh, next segment, we'll, I will show you the finished product. Katie and I wanted to take a quick minute and talk to you guys about the Giant Bean Wooden Food Kitchen Play Set. This is the cutest little set. It comes in this great box that actually doubles as its stove for the little kitchen. And it also is a great storage box. These little wooden veggies and uh, fruits and all the little pots and pans and silverware that you get are just the cutest. I thought the quality and the details in this little kit was great. This behind it. Oops. Turn it around this way. Hey guys! Hello! This is the tomato guys, and we're gonna cut this open. Yep. So we're gonna cut it with the cutting board, but this is a big knife. Ooh, good job! This is so cute, and the little stove is adorable. It's got the little, the little heating bread. elements. We have milk. A little off and on button. It's not really a light shining on it. It's just a little. We have a plant too. Yes, we do. And we have. And this is the back of the stove, and I if you put the salt and pepper on it. Yeah. There a we little go. bit wobbly. So it looks so cute, like a little kitchen. No, okay, you. Okay, you are you gonna make some concoctions? You gonna make me some food? And so strawberry. What is yummy. that? I love strawberries. Okay, let's make some food. I have to say, this little kitchen set was a big hit with Katie. She had the a blast playing with it, and I really had fun watching her create and just come up with different things to put together. The Velcro between the wood food to make it so that Katie could pretend to cut it up for her special meals was really fun for her. 
So if you have a special little one that you know would love to play with this little kitchen set, I'll have the link down in the description for you. And also there will be a discount code down there. So make sure that you pop that in and be ready for the fun to begin. So what do you think of my little lemon bread box? I think it came out so cute. I love the buttery yellow color of it. It's gonna go great in my family member's kitchen because I've seen it and I know that the colors will be perfect. So I'm hoping that she loves it too. Don't forget to check down in the description for the link to the lemon decoupage paper, the giant bean wood kitchen set, and the discount code. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.